What's shaking? Mr. Dave on the Rock Pile. How are you guys doing out there in Wonderland, Facebook land, Instagram land, or YouTube land, or just land land? Hey, we are still working on the Bobcat exhibit here. We got the three ponds laid out with the liners ready for our concrete. So we're going to be coming in and doing shotcrete over the whole thing. This is our waterproofing strategy for these project, this project. Don't have to put rebar in the steel, don't have to put uh, waterproofing on it and recoat it and nothing. I worry about cracks. This whole thing is going to be uh, waterproofed underneath the concrete. The concrete's going to be two inches thick or thereabouts. <clears throat> and that'll be the strategy. So let's take a walk and we'll update you guys on what happened here. We backfilled with uh, that cat excavator these so this whole area with soil and dirt we dug some down out of there moved that up here placed some stones on it it's really cool it's add some great new variation in the landscape and the texture of this space that we're uh, using here it's not just a flat simple slow pitch we have our drain pipes that we epoxied we didn't epoxy we glued sort of epoxy we had the regular fitting that's just a three inch uh threaded coupler and that fits on the pipe and there's an elbow and that gives it a, a downhill slant and that goes all the way down that way does a turn and it's going to pop out down there and that's going to allow for this pond and we have one in each of the ponds to completely get drained <clears throat> uh, the bobcats actually apparently need to have water to go poopy <laughs> and so we've created a lot of places for them to do their thing so um so that's the drain for this particular pond we've got a little bridge space here this is actually going to be one big pond these two um and uh but that's just a we talked i was thinking about doing a spillway into this one trying but the elevation issue just got too funky so these two ponds are going to be basically one water body uh the overflow point is a five four inch uh, ABS black pipe and that's been put right there and wrapped around with uh, tie wires pulled tight silicone sealed all around there to glue it in real tight to waterproof it so that's gonna be awesome and that travels down there and then elbows over and pops out that direction over by that white PVC <clears throat> talk about the white PVC that is actually a, a return so it's a three-way valve so the the skimmer over there which you can see maybe in the shadows we'll, we'll walk over there is where the pump's going to be and it's going to be moving water up well if you want it to go just to this pond we can uh, do that with the three-way valve and block its its water flow all the way up to our spring pond which is artificial rock right here but it splits goes in both these ponds and gurgles down that's what it's going to be doing and so during the week let's say they don't want to have both these ponds fully utilized and all that water just being uh, used for the regular weekly i guess maintenance of the animals you might say they can just cycle through with this uh, pond and so that's what that three-way is for and right next to it is again that that's the overflow pipe four inch pipe that's coming out of these two bodies of water so that'll be cycling we finished up our lion king rocks what i like to call it <clears throat> and uh it's pretty pretty cool it just needs a little power wash to get some of that release powder off of there and uh and then we'll be able to paint that we could probably aim for some of this awesome old uh weathered uh granite that's just beautiful it's got dark stuff like and all going on in there so we'll give it some of the colors that match that this part of it is the the natural part and then we added this extension to give it something that the animal could be perched on which is kind of cool backfilled all this area with a little bit of soil we just kind of scraped it off this upper area so we have a little bit better feather right to the edge of our ponds and have some other rocks here that we've uh, <clears throat> positioned to give it a natural look it's a nice big pond but not very deep and we want to do that just to save the water so <clears throat> this again is a rubber liner we're just going to blow concrete in it shock beat the whole thing with an inch or two call it good <clears throat> this spawns the lower pond it's got that same drain functionality and on the other side we've got a big ball valve real nice high quality brass stainless steel ball valve so this whole thing's going to get shock created and they're going to just bring the concrete up these real these real boulders and then once it cures i just cut off the black 
uh, liner and we we're good to go <clears throat> we spent some time over here moving stones around and also backfilling to give this to give it a sense that there's a reason there's a pond there you know why is there a pond there well there needs to be stuff around the perimeter so <clears throat> we moved soil around dug it up from over in this area and put it up on top repositioned some stones on top of this area as well and uh, created this nice it's a really cool area up here that's awesome all these real rocks are really fun we use straps to move them around and uh, filled in all these little places and just made this nice little planter area and if they want they can put some plants in here it's at two and a half three and a half feet or so above the above grade and we just moved soil from down here and kind of pulled it up and moved soil from here and pulled it up so really like how it's coming out We've got our skimmer over here it's a aquascaped uh, I think a skimmer and so the pump will be inside there's the big ball valves we're going to use for our flushing system when they want to empty the ponds out nice big ginormous valves uh, four inch valves so those should last a few lifetimes I'm thinking <clears throat> so very cool really like how we um, did this whole landscape area it looks looks really neat we have this tree the animals can climb up on and got the Lion King rock over there just a lot of cool stuff going on so uh, as I climb over the wall like a gazelle not <laughs> so here's the again the overflow pipe and the return line just to run the system so anyway oh awesome stump right here isn't that cool that is beautiful so upper pond call this one the north one this the south one and this the lower one so a lot of big <clears throat> a lot of big feature stuff going on out here in alpine so anyways hope you guys are having a great day wherever you're at and uh be kind to one another be patient fear nothing because uh you don't always have to be afraid it is it is kind of a choice in a big way so anyways uh dave henderson out here on the rock pile making a uh, bunch of ponds and some waterfalls for the bobcats that are going to be coming to the new home up here at alpine alpines uh, alliance tigers and bears so loving it and uh, making and creating a good day to to be alive so anyway hope you're doing good if you want to learn how we do this you can go to davehenderson.podia.com my name dave henderson.podia.com p-o-d-i-a and you can uh, grab some of the free PDF downloads. You can also go to DaveRHenderson.com for my blogs and links to other platforms. So, yeah, good stuff. Learn how to do this. Learn how to make rocks. Learn how to make ponds, water features. Learn how to have a good life. Learn how to start a business. You know, a lot of cool stuff there. So, anyways, hope you're doing good. Remember to be kind to each other. Kind to yourself. Learn how to be uh, forgiving and grateful get forgiving and grateful dialed in you're going to be awesome and you're going to be a blessing and not a curse and uh, you're going to handle life a lot better so anyways mr dave here having a great day hope you're having a great way great day too and we'll see you uh, next time on the rock pile all right have a good one bye